Hi everybody, it's me, Sidno here. Yet again, let me tell you, um, if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Sidno. Um, this used to be a tarot channel, but now it's just a channel where I say a bunch of nonsense um, about a lot of random things. Um, just go through my channel, you'll see what's tea. Um, I have not made a video in months, so... I'm Loki getting bullied, um, worthless rocker on YouTube. I know your comment was deleted from that video, but they bullied me into making another video. So here I am, you're welcome. And honestly, I should have been back on here. I have a lot of things to say, um, but this one thing I wanna talk about today is, really I just wanna pose a question, you feel me? I I'm gonna give y'all some information, some evidence, some evidence. I'm gonna let y'all decipher through it and figure out whether or not my hypothesis is correct. My conclusion is the conclusiona of the day. Here it is. I'm gonna start with the conclusion. The girl's gonna be doing that enough for me. So I'm gonna start with the conclusion. I'm chopped liver. Niggas believe that I'm chopped liver. That is it. That is, that, that is the quote. That is what I'm feeling. Because I feel as if it's so it's like pulling teeth trying to talk to people nowadays especially in a romantic sense it's quite alarming how unsuccessful a bitch like me could possibly be when i'm such a conversationalist in nature these niggas just find ways to not like just completely ignore you completely don't speak don't be giving nothing to the conversation. And when they do, it's on some nut shit. Let me, let me tell y'all one time. I was, I was, I was, I don't even wanna say talking. I was giving some slight attention and time to a person on the internet that I should not have, right? Let's say that. And um, I'm texting them. I'm like, hey, how are you? This is on Tinder. Like, hey, I'm good, you know, whatever, do do wop, what up, do. They'd be like, what are you doing? I'm like, whatever, I'm doing this, that, and the third. And then they're like, wait, before you continue talking, you have to address me as daddy. I said, beg pardon? I'm, excuse me, Be beg pardon? Beg pardon? Call you who? I said, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, do you... Ge Niggas genuinely believe that, like, there is no need to be socially correct. There is no need to have a conversation that makes sense. There's no need for words to have context. There's no need for anything that you say to have context, bitch. Just say whatever comes to your mind. That is dangerous. That is really dangerous. Very dangerous, right? And so... Leading back to me being chopped liver, because this is not just all about me, okay? I believe men in general believe that everyone else around them is chopped liver. Very much terrifying. Um, Y'all can tell with how Kevin Samuels was sitting up on here talking about women looking whatever kind of way, talking about high value men, can't be looking for... <sighs> Let me tell y'all something. I'm only going to say this once. It's going to be in a video so y'all can doop doop doop, but I'm going to say this once. These men out here that are claiming to be high value men, not only are they being delusional to themselves and everyone else around them, but they're making it seem as if there is a gigantic checker list board of shit that women have to do just to be admirable to men, high value men. And these high value men don't really have high value in terms of being a, a person in a relationship, a, a, a partner. They don't have any of those skills. They may be independently successful financially, um, physically, if they're physically fit, physically fit, you feel me? If whatever other standards and quotas they met, they got them, sure. But when it comes to actually being in a relationship, 
sharing emotion, having emotional intelligence, being able to communicate effectively. They don't have that. They don't have that range. The range is very short. It's giving short bandwidth. They don't have the long bandwidth. They don't have the girlies uh, calling them uh, long distance. They can't do international calling. It's very local. Their mindset is very local. And so I ask y'all again, am I chopped liver? <laughs> am I chopped liver? And should I really be focusing on other things? Um, Like, I already am, but should I continue? You know what I'm saying? Should I fully delve deep into just minding my motherfucking business? I feel like that it should be a yes. Comment down below what y'all think. Because I have thoughts about the... I have... Because I have, one part of me does understand that I am somebody... Hmm, I was going to say I could thrive in a relationship, but I feel like I can and I can't. I feel like I could definitely thrive for my partner. But I'm definitely not going to thrive for me. And that's a problem. I be forgetting about myself in relationships, bitch. It really be, I really be on some, I'm, I'm, I'm their husband. I'm their wife. I'm their mistress. And it's like, I forget that I exist. That was a big problem in my only relationship that I had. I completely forgot about myself, child. Never again, bitch. Pepperidge Farm will never forget that shit. Period. That will never happen. Ever again. So... For about almost two years, bitch, I've been single, right? Living single, I'm mine, it's not a world, period. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But very much that's been my life. So I feel like, you know, I've already, I, I've, I've been in the shits. I am in the shits, you know. I know exactly what it means to like really care and delve deep into your own puss. Ponder your own puss. I honestly believe that should be like the quote. Like, just ponder your own puss. That's the energy. That's what I've been doing for the last year and a half, over-ish, around. Almost two years. And it's been feeling really, really good. At times, it's really terrible. Or at times, I'm really sad. At times, I cry. There's times and nights that I cry. But there's other times where I'm very ecstatic, very happy, very jubilee, very jubilated. You feel me? Experiencing jubilee. Is jubilee a word or is it just someone, is it just some homegirl's name? Is it just jubilations Lee? No, it's not jubilations Lee. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. It's jubilation Lee, not jubilations Lee. Jubilation sounds like a Bible verse, a Bible uh, book, a book in the Bible. Jubilations. It do, don't it? It do sound like, <laughs> I know it's not, but it is, that's really tripping me up. Hold on. Jubilations Lee verse. No. Okay. We're over with that thought. Sorry. Sorry. I got lost. I got lost. I'm sorry. I'm not sober. So, um. What else can there be? Can there, does there need to be said? I feel like. We've discussed men having not the range, um, putting extremely weird expectations on women. Not even, I wouldn't even say high expectations because there is no bar for it. There is no like barometer of reality of the situation. Like none of it is, it's all delusional. Like all these men are just delusional. So there is nothing to measure this on. So there are, there's no such thing as a high standard with this. It is just weird and strange and unrealistic. Um, what else is going on? What else do I have to say? I feel like that's it. I feel like I really am genuinely concerned with the state of the world. I feel like now that we have been apart for so long and been quarantined away and have not really been able to be around others like that for real for real i mean others have others been going to the clubs since the summer niggas have been going to the clubs since the summer i know i see i peaked i peeped i've seen it all i mm -hmm. bitch i mm -hmm. 
I've seen it. I, 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 it's, it's blipped on my radar. I've seen y'all hoes at the club. I see y'all niggas at the club. Busting it down in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of a panini press. Y'all niggas. In the middle of a pony boy. Rest in peace, Sophie. What an icon. But. But for the, for a lot of us, who have not been near humans like that and for good reason i feel like it's been it's been more distant in terms of dating for me personally i feel like i've definitely been given the girls ice you know but I, i've not tried to the thing is i don't start off with ice i never do i start off with fire bitch it's fire and ice okay so we start off with fire we start off with warmth you feel me i'm a sag Satch stellium in my first house. We start off with fire always. But then we get icy once the girls realize that you're talking to a robot, a, a piece of brick, a sandwich. You're talking to a downtrodden uh, horseshoe. You're, you, you know, like you're not talking to another person no more. And it's just like, well, girl, what am I supposed to do? Am I chopped liver? Yes, full circle. We're coming full circle. I'm glad we're here together again. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. This really was just a rant. I really wanted to get my shit out there. Um, I am planning on doing another movie review or a show review or a game review. Huh. I want to do another one. My next video will be a review of some sort. Mark my words. And I will have it out pretty soon. Again, mark my words on that too, bitch, because I'd be lying. But this time, I, I do not be lying. I'm not going to be lying. I'm not. We're gonna do it. We have to time. And I'm probably gonna film it today. So I just need to get some inspiration. Um, so let me know what kind of videos y'all wanna, what y'all want me to review. Okay, it could be anything. Just, just you know, it has to be interesting, bitch. It has to, it has to be giving, it has to give. Make sure it gives the girls. Make sure it gives the girls, okay? All right, all right. Um, uh, all that being said, bitch, that's gonna be it. Um, my name is Sidno. If you want to follow me on any social media, Sidno, look it up. You'll find a bitch. Uh, she'll be here. Um, I will be waiting time after time. I'm starving. I'm gonna find something to eat. It is early morning. I literally just busted out my puss. I'm sorry, I busted out my bed. <laughs> Whoa. Rewind. <laughs> I busted out my bed this morning and immediately got on the camera because I was just like, not these bitches talking shit. Talk about stuff. If you posted more, I would subscribe. Girl, what? Like, one, don't get cut. And two, you might be onto something. <laughs> like that. Not y'all bitches beating my ass in the comments. But anyways, thank y'all so much for just watching, being here, listening to my goofy ass. Again, if you want to find me on any social medias, they're in the description box, but also... Look up Sidno anywhere. My music as well is in the description box. Um, because I do making music out here, bitch. Um, and I got some songs on SoundCloud that I just released not too long ago. Um Twitter, Instagram, all that. Um, what else? What else? What else? There is nothing else I have for the girls. Um, I'm gonna put my PSN in the description box in case the girls wanna play games. Cause I do have a PlayStation 4. Um, I was gonna say PlayStation box. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But I do have a PlayStation. Um, and I do be playing some games on there. So if y'all do wanna connect, then let me know. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be that on that. Um, and as always, be forever walking in that light, sweetheart. And I'll see you when I see you, purr!